Greetings, all this is Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today, I'll be eating the country of Korea. Thanks so much, Little Miss R, for sending me this box of treats all the way from Seoul. So I should clarify that this is South Korea. If you haven't seen my first Emmy Eats Korea video, I'll put that link down below so you can see what I ate there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I want to eat this one. Look at this. So in English, it says corn chips. Doesn't that look great? Somehow it looks kind of sweet, but it doesn't smell sweet at all. It smells a little bit corny. Very cute chip. They're like little squares. Light and lightly speckled with maybe some pepper or something on there. Itadakimasu. Mmm. <laughs> Those are delicious. Wow. It's so interesting how all these tasting videos kind of reveals some of my taste biases. At any rate, when I think of corn chip, I think of like a Frito-Lay's corn chip, which is a type of chip that you find here in the States. A corn-based chip that has a very corny flavor and kind of toasted flavor. This is very corny as well, but completely different kind of flavor spectrum. It's much sweeter and tastes like some of the corn snacks that I've had in Japan. I think that they call them corn potage, which is like a corn soup. And that's what this tastes like. It's like a sweet corn. So it has that sweet, kind of canned corn flavor. It's really good. Sorry for the stuffy nose. I'm kind of recovering from a little bit of a nasal thing. But I feel fine. I just sound funny. <clears throat> yeah. Funny, and sometimes I occasionally make disgusting bodily fluid sounds. But, you know, that comes with, comes with the territory, I guess. All right, next. Very sweet little packaging, and she said this is called a horanch pie. It smells kind of peachy and apple-y. It looks a little bit like puff pastry. On top, there's a kind of a jammy, fruity to topping on top. And then there on the bottom, it's kind of perforated. Mmm. There's a really light, kind of phyllo dough texture. Buttery and crisp. It's very much like a puff pastry meets a cookie. And then on top is this really lovely kind of sweet jammy topping. I think it's supposed to be apple, but it tastes peachy to me. Very fragrant and flowery. But the topping is a really nice complement to the crisp, flaky cookie because it's sweet and it's kind of got a little bit of a chewy, jammy texture and flavor. Delicious. So this is called Dog Daddy, and it's a chicken leg. <laughs> I love the packaging. It's adorable. Ta-da! Very cute little drawing in there. More of those little animated chickens. <laughs> I love these. Oh my goodness. Look how stinking adorable. It's a three-dimensional drumstick. Adorable. I think this is one of the cutest snacks I've ever seen. It looks a bit like a bowling pin. It looks like a, you know, breaded mini drumstick. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm! Wow! That is so interesting and good. It tastes like Korean-style fried chicken. It's got a kind of sweet flavor, sweet and kind of soy saucy flavor. And then you definitely have this kind of poultry flavor, but it's not like the poultry flavor that you would taste here in the States. Here in the States, it has more of kind of a celery, kind of bouillon flavor. This is definitely Korean style fried chicken flavor. It's awesome. Mmm, so good. You really get that deep fried chickeny flavor without it tasting rancid. I love that the coating tries to imitate kind of like the panko fried chicken coating on the outside. And the inside is hollow, so you get this really nice crunch. They're delicious. And this one's called um, Bada Coconut. Little Miss R says she loves this one. She said her mom teased her a little bit because she said of the treat that she chose were kind of old fashioned. That's okay, I'm okay with old fashioned. <laughs> And this one too, like the dog daddy, opens like this. Ah, so beautiful. So it looks like there's six of these packets. And here's one up close. Oh, they remind me of my childhood. My mom would buy these. They would come in a silvered pack. We'd get them at the Asian store. 
and um, yeah, they were delicious. Hi, hi, FedEx, FedEx time truck. Bye. So this looks very similar, and smells very similar to the the biscuits that I used to eat. Very buttery and rich and coconutty. There it is up close. It's got a little bit of a fluted edge. All right, let's give them a taste. Mm hmm. Yum. They are really, really addictive. They're a little bit like a petit beurre, those little kind of butter cookies that you, I think originally came from France, a biscuit, but they have a coconut flavor to them. And just a very light sweetness. On the top, there's a little bit of a, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, a little kind of sprinkling of sugar, slight glaze. So it just adds just a perfect amount of sweetness. I really love this with either coffee or black tea or milk tea. Just dip it for a second and then eat them. I usually try to limit myself to about three because I'll eat the entire sleeve if I leave the whole thing out. But they're just so yummy and good. I love these cookies. Gorebap. Gore means whale and bap means rice. Gorebap. So this is a whale-shaped rice snack. So cute. Look at the little whale. It reminds me a little bit of the goldfish crackers that we have here in the States, which my son loves. Cute. He's got a little hat. Adorbs. And smells like seaweed. <laughs> these are so cute. They remind me of these little the puff crackers. I believe it was Indonesia. I had a puffed cracker that looked a lot like this. It's very similar in terms of its three-dimensionality. Like the goldfish we have here in the States tend to be kind of flat. This is puffed. Oh yeah! Those are delectable. They're so light and thin. It's mostly air when you buy them. You have this combination of the seaweed flavor. I don't taste any spice. It doesn't. It's not really spicy to me. And definitely kind of sweet. So good though. I think some MSG for good measure. I really like them. They're so stinking cute. Little Miss R also sent me a selection of chews. Look at this. Ding, ding, ding. This is made by the company Crown. She sent me lemonade, grape, and strawberry, and peach. I think I'm gonna try grape because I love grape. And I think this might be similar to something like Haichu which is a Japanese chew, or maybe like a Starburst. I don't know, we'll see. Waxed paper chew, covered chew. Hmm. There's the candy. Mmm, mmm, good. Film is art and include a post-it note on this one, so I don't know what it's called, but it says in the corner there, Hello Gogo. -Go. So I'm gonna call it Hello Gogo. -Go. Hello Gogo -Go is awesome. It's similar to like a chew or a starburst. It's a little bit chewier than say a starburst. Not as soft, but what I like about it, and even more so than a high chew, is that it's got a nice tartness to it. It's sour. Really strong, intense, conquered grape flavor. I love a certain amount of acidity in candies. Not so that it's painful, but that it's just more succulent like that a lot. I'll eat another one if I have room, so I'm gonna wait till the end because I want to finish some of the others before I eat more chews. Okay, this one's called Jagal Chi. It smells like shrimp chips. Scoop shape to them, and they're shaped like, kind of like fish, but I think it's supposed to be an octopus. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm! Wow! They're actually very similar to shrimp chips. They have that kind of same kind of rice-based, crisp chip base. You can see the texture, I'm not sure. And then a really strong fishy flavor. That's a little bit different than a shrimp chip. Shrimp chips have that more of a kind of prawny shrimp taste. This actually tastes more like tuna fish. Yeah, not necessarily what I associate with octopus, that flavor of tuna fish, but not unpleasant. It's kind of got a little bit of a smokiness too. Dong Kong Gangju. And this is a peanut kind of snack. Ooh, it smells peanutty. Oh, it smells great. They look like little Rice Krispie treats. Mmm. Those are good. 
as you can hear, really big crunch. It's like a solid ball of Rice Krispies, and then it's held together with some kind of syrup or glaze. And then there's some peanut in there too. It's an actual whole piece of peanut. A really nice balance between the rice flavor and the peanut flavor, not just peanut butter. If I were to think of a flavor analogy, I would say it's very similar to kind of kettle corn. It has a little bit of saltiness, but mostly you have this nice, sweet, caramely flavor with some peanuts in there. Ode? Lil Miss R says she just recently discovered it and she says it's delicious. And it says fromage, which in French means cheese, so I think it's a savory snack even though it looks sweet. Or maybe it's both. It has a drizzle, a nice kind of diagonal drizzle of some kind of topping, but I think this is going to be sweet. Looks like a bit of like a cake. Mmm. Mmm. That's very unusual. It's a cake. And on the bottom, there's a really thin glaze and on the top as well. It reminds me a little bit of cornbread. It has a little bit of a richness to it. It's not butter. It doesn't taste corny, but maybe the yellow color makes me think of cornbread. Crumbly, somewhat moist, airy texture. But you can't quite place what that richness is. And I guess it's cheese. <laughs> nice. Again, I think this would be good with a nice hot beverage of some kind. Probably bring out some of those cheese notes more. But let's finish with the candy. Let's try one of these lemonade crowns. This too is wrapped in wax paper, this time with little lemons. Here we go. Mmm, so oh good. This candy is actually perfect after eating all of those snacks. Mmm, that was delicious. The lemonade, just like the grape, it was nice and tart. It's sour. Really great lemony flavor. Very similar to a Starburst. A little chewier and initially a little bit harder than a Starburst. Really great lemony flavor. So if you love sour candies that aren't overly sour, I really recommend these little Korean candies, the Hello Go-Go's or whatever they're called. They are amazing. I love them. I think I might actually like them better than Haichu. Whoa. I know. I said it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Little Miss R, for sending a little bit of Korea with me. It was really great. I'm glad that you shared your classic favorite Korean snacks and treats. They are delicious. So many different flavors, so many different textures and types of snacks. I had a great time. Thanks so much. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. And I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to, you know, click, click, click and do all those good things and like and sub if you're not subbed already. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. So what are these things? What do you think? They're edible. Any guesses? Any guesses? And this packaging is so adorable. Like it, it has a little hand there. So, Komashokun is sitting on your hand. <laughs> Behold, I give you the giant 